Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs, and today I have this pink and gold alcohol ink card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So I do have a piece of Simon Says Stamp Upo paper here. This is the first time I've ever tried it, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. And I'm going to use uh, Gumball Gilded Alloy Ink and some blending solution. And those are the only colors I'm going to use because I really wanted to work with the gilded alloy ink. If you guys watched an, uh, an alcohol ink video I did uh, maybe two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I'll have it linked in the card if you want to check it out. Uh, I used an alcohol ink or an alloy ink in it and I really struggled with it. So the whole point of this card is kind of an experiment for me. A, I want to try out the uh, Yupa paper from Simon Says Stamp. I got some recently in a kit and I haven't tried it, so I thought it would be really fun to work with. Uh, and B, I really wanted to sit down and get more familiar with the alloy ink. And here you can see that I, I struggled with it. I think my issue really was that it kind of clogged. So if I didn't use the Gilded for a little while, the the like hole in the end would clog and then when I went to use it you would have to put a bit of pressure and then a whole bunch would come out so I end up fixing this card several times simply because I got way too much of the gilded ink uh, so I don't know how well this experiment went but that's kind of what we're trying for here and you can see that I do end up putting on a lot of blending solution this is honestly because I wanted a lot of differentiation between a light color and the dark color of gumball I only have the one ink uh, oh and the gilded of course but the the pink is really creating all of my color and depth so I, I used a lot of blending solution to get a lot of movement and a lot of light and dark pinks within that that Yupo paper so I mean, there's no right or wrong way to use alcohol inks. If you hate this, you could, of course, just cover it in some like isopropyl alcohol and wipe it off and you'd be able to start all over again. But I chose not to. And there was a few steps in here where I hated it, uh, but I refused to start over. I just kept adding more blending solution and some more ink. And then I am going to add a little bit more gilded. And here you're going to see I'm the same problem. Like I really wanted one drop and it goes and I got tons so once again I'm gonna work with it and I do end up kind of air blowing a bunch of stuff off of my Yupo panel this is just because I have more than I want and I, I know it sucks to waste it but I don't really know what you would do otherwise um I just kind of I end up putting some blending solution and then kind of just spray it off the edge so that I can clean it off of my glass mat. So at this point, I figured I had more than enough color uh, and I just kind of set it aside to let it dry. And then I we would look at it again here once it was dry. So I brought in the Simon Says Stamp Beautiful Die Set. This is the word and the outline. So I cut the outline out of some heavyweight vellum and then I cut the word beautiful out of a gold cardstock. This is the tonic gold pearl cardstock and I just thought that uh, this would be a really cool sentiment that I could then turn into something later I don't add a sub sentiment to it I thought about it you'll see I have one cut out here in a little bit uh, but I didn't add it to the card and the only reason for that was is because I didn't know what I wanted it to say like a beautiful is a great word I mean you could you could make anything kind of different kind of sentiment so I kind of just left it as beautiful and I did cut the same beautiful word out of white cardstock three times and layered them up with my barely art glue here just to give some dimension to the word beautiful um, and it did kind of end up shifting a little bit and the easiest way to tell that is when you go to it add it to the shadow and your letters aren't in the right places because the cardstock it can move right it's super easy and I did pounce off some glue so there wouldn't be too much on there once I put the word beautiful but I did have to really line this up and kind of finagle it until the letters sat on top of each other and that's honestly just because this is a bit of a dainty word and the letters like to shift so I did end up having to fight them back a bit. And you see me struggle a little bit here to get the, the L to align and the T to go together before the glue started to dry. But I got there. It worked out okay. And then I do use an acrylic block just to hold it down. And I have all of the tittles in that little pinch jar there. Uh, the tittle is the dot on the eye, in case you didn't know. But uh, yeah, so I just set them in my little pinch jar so, or my pinch bowl so that I knew where they all were so that I could add them onto the shadow when I was done adhering the word. 
but so this was a kind of a study of alloy inks and I'm not sure I was successful although I got a better feel for them here than I had beforehand um, but there's still something that I'm obviously going to have to play with a bit more and kind of get a better feel for how they move and how they work because I, I do feel like the alloys really want to cling together and to get a really cool look from them <clears throat> excuse me you need to get them to separate so uh, this is just it's going to be something I'm going to have to continue to practice which is okay I mean what what else do I have to do right I get to to play with card materials so I I, I really enjoy alcohol inks so I will have to bring them out in a different card at some point and uh, try them again and see what I can do with them so originally this card was going to have one panel across the top and it was going to then have the word beautiful on the white background but after I walked away and came back, I actually really liked how the alcohol ink turned out. I think alcohol ink, you kind of have to just accept it for what it is. It's more difficult to control. Obviously, there are people out there who can control it and they create stunning works of art and it's just mind boggling how well they create things. But I am not one of those people. So I'm more likely to just kind of play with the alcohol ink and see what I can get from it and then go from there. So I originally thought I would cut this panel down. So it was going to be uh, two, I think it's two inches by just under the five and a half because this is going to be an A2 card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, in the end, I can't even tell you exactly what the panels are because I eyeballed them all. Uh, if you guys have been with me for a hot minute, you know that I eyeball things. I have a tendency not really to measure things. Um, and part of that was that I wanted to use specific gold cardstock uh, pieces that I had left for the matting. So I kind of just measured the uh, gold cardstock a little bit and then kind of trimmed it down until I knew what I was kind of working with. And the alcohol ink isn't completely dry. It does get stuck on the little um, shield thing for your fingers to press down on there. Uh, and that's easy. I just put a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol or sorry, not rubbing alcohol, um, sanitizer, hand sanitizer on a cloth and then I just wiped it off. So it was pretty easy. So here you can see that I'm kind of like measuring the gold pieces against the one that I already have cut and then I bring it back to my cutter and I measure it. So I'm really bad for this. I have a tendency not to measure things. I kind of just eyeball things. But as a kind of rule for this, I do have one bigger, one kind of medium sized and one smaller, but they are all from that A2 panel. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I didn't measure them exactly. If anybody really wants to know the exact measurements, leave me a message, leave me a comment below and I will, I will grab my, my ruler and I'll give you some exact measurements. But while I was making this, I, I didn't. So bear with me because I have a tendency to just kind of go back and forth. And, and like you can see, I'll cut off a thin amount and then I'll go bring it back to the trimmer and then I cut off another thin amount and I just kind of go back and forth until I have exactly what I want. And now I am going to adhere them down to this gold cardstock. I really just wanted it to be matted all around the outsides. So the only real colors in this card are the gold, the pink, and the white from the uh, base. So you can see that there's little sentiment strips sitting above my word beautiful. And then it says, well, hello there. So the sentiment was going to be, well, hello there, beautiful. But the sentiment is black. It's It was a sentiment strip from one of the uh, Simon's sets. And I just, I decided that I didn't want there to be a black sentiment uh, because there's no black in this card. So I didn't really want to add anything dark. So I chose not to incorporate it. But when I decide who this is going to go to, then I'll add a sub sentiment fitting to whatever the, the reason I'm sending this card is or I'll leave it. I mean, you can never go wrong sending somebody something that says beautiful on it, right? I mean, you'll just write what you want inside the card and it'll make perfect sense and be completely relevant. So I'm okay with it only saying beautiful, although I did intend to add a sub sentiment. So with this, so you can see that I'm gluing down the top panel to the card base. And this was kind of my original idea. I was going to do this one and hear it down a little bit lower. And then I was going to put the sentiment, but I ended up liking how the alcohol panel looked. So I opted to cut it down into the three strips and then I'm going to adhere the top one and the bottom one so that I know 
that I only have to align the center one to the center of that center piece. So hopefully that makes sense. But again, I'm going to eyeball everything and hope that my measurements look right. Uh, but I've never had anybody come to me and tell me that uh, everything was off center or it looked horrible. So if they did, I wouldn't send them another card to be honest. Um, I just send these to people who love them and enjoy them and it brings a smile to their face. And that's kind of kind of my only goal with uh, with making cards. So I adhered those three panels down and I got it pretty well centered, I think. And then I brought in my Barely Art glue once again, and I'm just going to kind of follow the whole outline of the word. I am going to fill in the whole word, although the center won't be adhered since it's going to be adhered on top of the two panels, the middle one and the bottom one. But I wasn't 100% sure where the glue would be. So I just did the whole word and uh, just the top and the bottom will really be adhered. Uh, the center part really won't be, but that's fine. I mean, you're not gonna be able to know and the glue will just dry so it really doesn't matter but at least this way I knew that there would be glue on the top and the bottom from wherever they were touching and then I did of course bring in my acrylic block to hold it down and then I'm gonna bring in some pearls because you know I never have enough shimmer and shine on my cards so these are the arctic breeze pearls by studio katia and I just adhered them down with some more of that barely art glue I'm almost running out though I'm gonna have to maybe invest in some different glue anyway I'm gonna hold the card up so you can check it out in all of its glory I would love to hear what you guys think hopefully you can kind of see that gilded ink in the background there and you can kind of enjoy it for what it is but I'd love to know what you think of this card I'd love if you'd leave me a comment leave me a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already I do new videos every Monday and Thursday thank you so much guys and I will see you again very soon bye bye for now